Hello boys and girls, it's Mr. Omara here. I'm going to make a cheat sheet for values of pi so that when you're working on area and perimeter, you don't have to keep going and calculating it. So here you go, I have Googled pi and now I'm going over to my Excel spreadsheet. So one, two, three, and I'm going to take these numbers all the way up to 85 because I happen to know that that's what will fit on two pages. Okay, so here in my second column, that equals 1 times pi, which is fine. There we go. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out 25% of that value because I just have a hunch that that's going to be useful. 50% of that value, 75% of that value, and you know what? I'm not sure if this is, I'm going to need these things, but I'm going to make them anyway. So that equals my calculation times. 0.25 because it's 25 percent this one equals that number there times 50 um, 0.5 which is 50 percent this one here equals that number there times 0.75 which is 75 percent and this one here equals this number times 2 there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these and I'm going to format them. So we go to format cells, number, two decimal places. Then I'm going to grab my formulas and I'm going to drag them all the way down the page. There we go. And the very last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to format as a table so it's nice and easy to read. Actually I'm going to undo that. There you go. I'm going to grab it again because I realized that I did that format as table wrong. Uh, format as table, uh, here we go. Uh, my table does indeed have headers. There it is. And I copy it. I put it in a Word document with a heading which is um, pi cheat sheet. I paste it in. I have put my little Omara thing on the bottom and I save it. There we go. It is now there, ready to share with you as the Pi Cheat Sheet. I hope that's a useful insight into how you can make these resources quite quickly.